What's up everyone, welcome to part one of our Battle Arrow Drift Cart build series. Now in this video, we are going to install the rear axle. So here are the parts laid out for you that you need for this install. So what you're going to need is a brake rotor, a sprocket rotor, sprocket, a pair of wheel bearings, a pair of wheel hubs, four cylinder keys, a pair of collars, brake bracket, the rear axle, and also the pair of rear wheels. So to start off with this install, you're going to go ahead and grab the rear axle and a pair of collars. You're going to insert the collars in first, one on each side, and then follow that, you're going to go ahead and grab the green wheel bearings and you're going to put it in. Now it is a pretty tight fit, so you may need a rubber mallet to help get it deeper into the rear axle. Now the next step is we're gonna go ahead and install the brake rotors. Now this is also a pretty tight fit, so you may need a rubber mallet and a oversized socket to help get it in. After you get that in, you're gonna go ahead and grab the sprocket rotor and you're gonna insert it on the other end. So what we're doing right now is we're straining out the wheel bearings and you wanna make sure you do this on both sides to help you with the install. So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and insert the wheel hubs on each side. Now make sure you have the nut and the bolt facing outwards so you have something to bolt down your wheels. Now this next step is very important before you guys install the rear axle. Depending on what motor you guys are planning to run, in this video, we are going to install the electric motor. So we're going to make sure the sprocket rotor is going to be on the right side of the chassis. Now, if you guys are planning to run the gas version, make sure the sprocket rotor is on the left side of the chassis. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and bolt down the rear axle. Before we do that, you're going to have to grab the brake bracket, the two pair of 3-8 bolts, and the longer 3-8 bolts, you're going to use that with the brake brackets on the brake rotor side. And the shorter 3-8 bolts, you're going to use that on the sprocket rotor side. So we're going to go ahead and start on the sprocket rotor side. We're going to go ahead and grab the shorter 3-8 bolts and insert them in. After that, we're going to go on the brake rotor side and we're going to get the longer 3-8 bolts and put those in along with the brake bracket. After you got it hand threaded, you can go ahead and tighten all the three bolts on both sides. Now the next step is we're going to go ahead and center the rear axle. Now to do that, you're going to grab a measuring tape and you're going to measure from the plate of the frame to the end of the axle. Now it should be approximately seven and three quarters on both sides. After you got the rear axle centered, you're going to go ahead and grab the collars and you're going to push it against the wheel bearings on both sides and go ahead and tighten them down. So this centers, the, this locks the axle in place. <laughs> So the next step is you're going to go in ahead and align the slots on the wheel hub and you're going to grab the cylinder keys and you're going to insert it from the back and make sure it's flush with the back and then you're going to go ahead and tighten down the wheel hubs. On the brake rotor side, we're going to go ahead and align the threaded hole on the brake rotor with the slot on the rear axle and you're going to go ahead and give it a couple threads in. We're not going to go ahead and tighten it yet because we still need to install the brake caliber which will be shown in part 2 of the install videos. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and align the slots on the sprocket rotor with the slots on the rear axle and we're going to insert the cylinder key. And we're gonna go ahead and just snug down the sprocket rotor. You just snug it for now. We're not because we need to. So we need to put the gears on and align it. 
So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and install the sprocket and here are the hardware that you need for this install. You're gonna go ahead and grab a bolt and a washer and you're gonna fully thread in all six of the bolts onto the sprocket rotor. After you got all six bolts threaded in, you're gonna go ahead and grab your sprocket and you're gonna put it on the back side of the sprocket rotor. After that, you're gonna finish it off with a washer and the nylon nut and go ahead and tighten them down. Now to finish this part of the install, you're gonna go ahead and install the rear wheels and you're pretty much good to go. Now that concludes part one of the video. If you guys can hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and be sure to look out for part two of the install video. And now if you guys are interested in your own drift carts, please hit the link in the description below and we'll see you guys in the next video.